So. Was sage ich? Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the vlog. Today is a special vlog because we are in the Hack in Vienna in the Option 2.0 Op20 headquarter. As you know, this is Christoph and he's uh, the co-founder of Op20 and he is at the moment the what are you? Chairman. The chairman of the association. We just had the Op20 Uh, meeting and it was really really awesome awesome people here awesome projects we just want to give you a quick update on the upcoming events in the up to all network and what has generally happened with up to all so the first thing we did today was we got a message by Ali who is the founder of what you do and as you know what you do is also a partner of patron for change And he sent out a message that he's going to meet the Chancellor of Austria, Mr. Kern, and going to discuss about some topics like digitalization and education. And he asked the audience to send him a question for the Chancellor of Austria. Ich diskutiere kommende Woche mit unserem Bundeskanzler Christian Kern zum Thema Digitalisierung und Bildung, wahrscheinlich aus einem Plan A. Und wenn ich die Möglichkeit habe, diverseste Themen reinzubringen, würde mich ja noch interessieren, welche Dinge ich äh, ihm sagen soll. And I think we found a really interesting question. Can you remember what question we sent to him? Yeah, we asked uh, why uh, media competence and communication competence is not a real big issue in schools. Yeah, like in the school yeah. system. Why isn't it taught in schools like uh, communication over new media, uh, digitalization? It's a little part in our education system and our question to the Chancellor would be why isn't this like one of the most important topics actually? Yeah, so since uh, option 2.0 is there we're talking about this topic and I think it's really important in this mega trend, the digitalization, the transformation, digital transformation that the people adapt to the new technology and to the opportunities which are there. And it's really, really important that the youth uh, knows how to handle the medium yeah. and how to handle apps and their devices and know about privacy and all this stuff, data, big data, and it's a really big issue. So it should be taught on schools mm. and that's really important. And that's why we asked the question and if and there Uh, is a need and the people understand it, we are also there to, to help and provide uh, training. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, so, the next thing was, um, what is this actually? Those socks are by one of the members of Up2O. She has founded the, well, the foundation or the association called U, like U, United Cultures. And they are producing those socks. And I'm just going to read what this says here, here. Hi there. You are now holding not just a pair of socks, but a symbol of cultural diversity. Wear these socks and join a movement to celebrate cultural diversity and make the positive side of migration visible. So it's a positive symbol for positive migration. If you buy those socks, you can buy them over the homepage unitedcultures.eu link in the description um, if you buy three pairs uh, they donate one pair to people in need it's an awesome project uh, I'm gonna wear them from now on they're very beautiful and warm and warm <laughs> uh, that's good uh, with the with the temperatures out there mm. I guess uh, produced sustainably in Romania. Very cool project. She's also part of Up2O. Next thing, I just want to give you some quick dates in the future of upcoming events in our network. We have this Thursday, which is the 2nd mm -hmm. of uh, February. We have in the, in the Impact Hub Vienna, there is an awesome event. Um, I think It is already closed, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but uh, you can ask Natalie and then you can come in. So 
she's if, also a member of our organization and she's sitting on the entrance and when you come at seven uh, at half past five I will be there and I help you to come in. Yeah if you really want to join so that's one of the advantages mm -hmm. for being uh, in the Opto network. Uh, you can also get to events like this one even if it's fully booked. So that's an awesome event. Uh, we're probably gonna be there for sure. Right afterwards, uh, in the 21er Haus, 21 House, which is a museum in Vienna, there is a new exhibition with uh, an artist called Richter, and there, yeah, it's gonna be the, the art of this artist and a party. The party is about to drink. See us there, meet us there this Thursday. Yeah, on the 26th of February, there's gonna be the next tea time. You know the tea time from the vlog? So we're gonna present here in the Hagen Vienna some very nice art, some performances this time. Stay tuned, I'm gonna talk about it soon again, but mark it in your calendar on February 26th here in the Hag Inn. Yeah, and it will be published, the event, in one or two weeks. So now in the Seaworld blog, you as viewer, you have a special uh, position because you know now that the event is uh, there on the 26th of February. And you can be on the guest list if you send uh, Patrick um, an email or, or a message. Or, yeah, a message, and then you are directly on the guest list and you can join the performance, which will be here. Yeah, we've shared over up to all really interesting interviews, um, but they're in German, so if you're a German speaker, check them out uh, on the Facebook page of Optimo, which you should also like. Would be nice. Yeah, because we are um, not investing into Facebook advertising, so it's really important that you are active uh, um, on our wall or in, on Twitter or on, on other social media channels um, because the interactivity brings uh, the reach um, reach more people, more audience mm. and yeah, we have no money to uh, give to Facebook for yeah. our, our audience. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's on you. <laughs> it's Sorry. on you to share it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to say something about the in Initiative Zivilgesellschaft meeting? Uh, yeah, that was yeah. really a special historic moment. Um, yeah, last week we had a meeting together with the whole executive board and we went to uh, the Digital Society um, room, it's am Graben, mm -hmm. and I can really um, recommend it to you, so Digital Society, you can Google that for Austria, it's a really interesting organization, and they are informing about the digital transformation and what's going on, And but the generation is a little bit older than us, so it's like generations coming together, engaging into the civil society and it's really nice that you now the connection is getting better and better. And if you're interested in the initiative civil society, you can also contact Patrick or us and we will inform you what's going on. Mm -hmm. Of course, so you see, Option 2.0, Option 2.0, up to O. Always interesting events happening, always interesting meeting, uh, meetings, always interesting people to meet and yeah, just a platform to strengthen civil society and their projects. So I think it's always possible to join and that's also the invitation. Contact us, go to the homepage and yeah, just join the movement. And then you get special information like this, what I didn't tell you yet, is we have also an event from Airbnb on the 15th of February in Co-Space. So if you're a host or you're interested in traveling through Airbnb, you can come also to Co-Space on the 15th of February. It's also not published yet, so uh, it's lucky that you're looking in the secret blog. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Thanks for watching and see you next time. And sorry for my English errors. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> Bye.